Welcome back to Observing the Sabbath. I'm Nathaniel Molnar, and we are continuing our look at Black Sabbath's second studio album, Paranoid, from 1970. We have done War Pigs, we have done Paranoid, we have done Planet Caravan, and now we are continuing on with Iron Man, which may just be one of, if not their definitive, most popular song that everybody knows. Uh, I have to say, up front, before we even listen to it, Iron Man is one of my least favorite uh, Sabbath songs. Uh, and that's not to take anything away from the great riff that Tony created, because Tony created an all-time classic great riff uh, for the song. It, it's fantastic. It's just that, to me, when I listen to this song, it sort of, this is more the pump-up song. You know, this is more the ra radio-friendly, and I talked about this with Paranoid. It's more the radio-friendly. It's more of the great song that you play at shows that gets everyone pumped up than one of the really strong, powerful Sabbath songs like a Black Sabbath or like an NIB or, uh, you know, War Pigs, where, you know, it has a little bit more substance to it. Now, I will say... I saw Sabbath live. This was before um, I was as big into them as I am now. I saw them live when they were doing their uh, end tour. And even though Iron Man is not my favorite of their songs, Iron Man was the best song that they played during that show. And I think the reason why, and when you listen to the song, it really sounds to me that this was a song that was written and crafted to be the pump-up song at shows this was the one to get everyone you know excited and engaged and start going in the mosh pit and you'll get everyone revved up and excited and as a pump-up song it's fantastic it's just as a sabbath song with what i associate with sabbath which with what i look for in sabbath songs what i like so much it doesn't quite have that and it's more of just the popularized version of sabbath so uh, let's just get into the song, though. We're going to listen to this. Uh, this is Iron Man off of the album Paranoid. I've never liked that part. I gotta be honest. I've never liked the I am, I am. Th I'm sorry. That's a little cheesy for me. kind of almost immediately takes me out of the song. But then, Tony's all-time great riff just comes right in. I mean, it's obviously, for me, since I'm saying the song ranks lower for me, it's not one of my all-time favorite Tony riffs. Uh, but it's a great Tony riff. It's one everybody recognizes. It's one everyone knows. So, the thing with Iron Man is, I like the sound of it, it's just, and even with Ozzy singing, it just so much just kind of falls into the rhythm of the guitar that it doesn't really distinguish itself from anything else. And Paranoid has a similar sort of, I don't want to say issue, but just stylistic choice, where he's just sort of singing to the same tune of the guitar, whereas there are other songs that they do where he's singing against the main rhythm. And there's not to say that one is better than the other. I just think in these cases with Iron Man and with Paranoid, it just sort of makes the dynamicism of the vocals just kind of not stand out in the same way. It just kind of falls into the overall uh, rhythm of the song. Very interesting, like, science fiction uh, tinge to this. To the lyrics. You don't really see too, too much science fiction with their songs. You get fantasy and you get realism, but not as much science fiction. And even something like Into the Void, where you could kind of say that sort of science fiction, also has more of like the religious element coming in when it's Judgment Day, which isn't as prevalent in science fiction.
See, I just hear this and I just think this is the pump up song to get everybody at the show excited and ready to go. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you're playing live shows and Black Sabbath, I mean, I think it's kind of fair to say that they they cared a little bit more, especially Ozzy, cared a little bit more about the shows than they did the album. And that's not wrong. I mean, you make one album and then you play so many shows after that, like you're playing multiple shows a day in some cases. So it makes sense that you're putting a lot of your time and your effort when you're writing and making albums. You're thinking about the fact that you're going to be playing those uh, at shows almost every single day. So it makes sense that they would want to have a song like this where it's a song to get everybody in the audience riled up and ready to go and excited. It just makes sense. But listening to it um, on my phone on Spotify or listening to it on a record, it doesn't have that same quality that you have when it's live. And again, when I saw them live, Iron Man was the best performance. And I think that's just because that's how the song was created. That's how the song was crafted. It was meant to be that. And so, while that's great for them while they play live, the flip side of that is when I'm listening to them on Spotify or I'm listening to my record, Iron Man doesn't have the same power. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't know, part of me also feels like, I think this is like, it's a fine song, like it's good, it's fine. Um, it's not nearly, like, top-tier Sabbath for me. Like, what I contend to be Sabbath's great stuff, like Supernaut, and Killing Yourself to Live, and, and The Writ, and, like, you know, these songs that are, like, this is top, top-tier Sabbath. Uh, and so for me, I kind of feel like it's, it's hard for me that this is the song that everybody who doesn't know Sabbath knows, and not what I contend to be what is, like, core sabbath so maybe there's a little bit of unfair resentment on iron man for that but that's just kind of how i feel you know and again it sounds like i'm trashing the song and i i'm i guess i'm more critical than trashing it it's just that knowing the great lengths that sabbath can go to and their top top songs this just isn't one of them for me. And so I listen to it, and it's good, and it's fine, it's just, but, you know, it's not killing yourself to live. It's not Supernaut. It's not Snowblind. It's not Into the Void. It's not Under the Sun. It's not Johnny Blade. It's not Never Say Die, you know. But it's good. So that was Iron Man. Um, I, I kind of said all of my thoughts while the song was going on. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a good song. It's a fine song. Um, but it's one of the lower ranked songs for me. Um, for Sabbath. It's just... it's. I feel like there's so many songs that are just so much more than this one. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's fine. It's good. So question is, what do you guys think? I want to know as Sabbath fans, as like knowing all Sabbath songs, really enjoying them is Iron Man. One of your favorites. I always kind of think of this song as one of those where if you don't really know Sabbath, but you know, some of their songs, Iron Man is one of the ones, you know, and for a lot of people, I'm sure Iron Man and Paranoid were those songs that were sort of your introduction to Sabbath. And then that kind of got the ball rolling. So my question is to you, now that you know all of Sabbath songs and you are more familiar with them, is Iron Man still one of your favorites or is it more of like a nostalgic thing? Like this was my introduction to Sabbath, so it will always have a special place for me, even if I think there are other songs that are better. I'm curious. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Once again, I'm Nathaniel Molnar. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to subscribe. Uh, and I have been saying this uh, for the past couple of videos, but I just want to reiterate, I am looking to do some, uh, per your request, 
I am looking to do some reaction videos for some of their live shows, some of their concert footage. Uh, and a bunch of people have been requesting that I do that, so I'm throwing it over to you to leave links to some of the live videos that you would like me to react to uh, in the comments so I can make a list and I can get to them uh, over the next little bit. So please do leave those links, or you can email them to me at observingthesabbath at gmail.com. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Our next video will be taking a look at Electric Funeral, uh, and I will be having a special guest uh, helping me out with that song. So you want to come back for that one. So until our next video, until Electric Funeral, thank you for watching. <laughs>